Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Welcome everyone. Welcome back to the Goons Podcast. Hello, viewers. I mean, listeners. Hello, listeners. What up? Hello, deaf people. Uh, I am back. Were you here in the last one, Matt? Yeah, you were, huh? Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were. I yeah, can't remember was. what we talked about in the last one. Neither can I. Everything feels like a fever dream. I think we talked about we talked about Demi Lovato a lot. Oh yeah, oh, that's that, right. that hasn't yeah, even been uploaded fucker. yet, has it? it got, I was it looking got uploaded yeah. just a minute I just ago. uploaded it. Yeah. It did. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Hopefully, Demi Lovato isn't doesn't I have uploaded notifications the, on. The one I uploaded the the audio one to be put on Spotify and stuff, but I forgot to uh -huh. schedule the video today. But wow, I just posted it today. Oh, you mean two days past when it was supposed to be up? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's okay. Give him a little bit of surprise. You, you, what you do is you disappoint them, right? They get disappointed, and then boom, you come back, and they're like, oh, they actually did it. Yeah, it's like surprise would, butt sex. Yeah. Exactly. If you actually want the butt sex on Monday, and then you get yeah. on Wednesday. Got that stingray bussy. Who, are, who <laughs> fucked with the brief again? Not it. <laughs> Not it. Not it. Not <laughs> it. Uh, well, for the listeners, I mean, we have a brief for a brand that we have to talk about here. It's a brief, brief. While we're wearing boxer briefs, they give us full editing of the brief, and we have just been posting. We have been editing time. boxer briefs. A whole a human form. turd. <laughs> <laughs> there was an HD turd in the brief. It was a whole page too. <laughs> a minion inside of a pussy. Lots of uh, extremist uh, symbols. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And words. Yep, and a lot of bad words. Yeah, Dewey was typing you, a lot of bad things. No. You guys want to talk about that brief? Yeah, let's talk let's, about the brief. Let's just let's get it out of the way. Yeah. Basically, yeah. if you just look up the cliff notes for Mein Kampf, you'll understand what we're about. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. no, no, no. The edited brief. The edited brief. Oh, Not the real brief. It's a prank. We can we cannot say that before it's going a into prank. a sponsorship. It's, it's a prank. prank. It's a prank. Nothing to do. That prank has nothing to do with what we're about to talk about. At all. No. Not whatsoever. No affiliation at all. <laughs> okay. Um, we're sponsored by G Subs. Oh, dude was doing it. Yeah. We're sponsored we're by G Subs. Let's oh, go, yeah. baby. You can't expect this to go smoothly, man. What do you think the G stands <laughs> for? I, we just scream out things and in, into existence. Yeah. That's uh I, I really don't know why out of everyone on earth they thought these four will do. These these are what we want to go with. Immediate regret. Yes, immediate regret. I guess, yeah. Um, all right, who wants to who wants to get into it? Who wants to do it? Who wants to do the, the, we the can, talking? Well, I can't read, so we can okay, do soup's like out. popcorn. I'm afraid reading. to read this. How about how honestly. about we do a word each? Yeah, honestly, there's gonna be Ooh, there's gonna I'm be down. fucked up shit in here. But so we'll do a order, word order, order order Discord. Yeah, yeah. Blar okay, me soup. Wait, do. What's right. the okay, hold on. All right, all right. Do, all right. The, <laughs> do like what's in quotations. All right. Okay, uh okay. Uh but before we get into Today's shit show. Guys. We have something <laughs> exciting to announce. We are now partnered up <laughs> with Gas Ops, <laughs> which, oh my God, is... Boys, this is a long brief to do this. <laughs> okay, we are we are about one tenth of the way. Okay. <laughs> this is actually our very first sponsorship of the podcast, ladies yeah, and gosh. gentlemen. Oh, gamer subs. I don't think we need to tell them that this is our very first. I think that that yeah. is coming across quite obviously. Yeah. Why would anyone sponsor us? <laughs> <laughs> We're finally making money we from had to this bag stupid this fucking company. shit. We had to get on our. Dirty, crusty knees to beg for this company. We had to suck off more. the CEO of Gamer Subs. He literally. This is the only <laughs> way you guys could get in paid. our mouth. Yes, That's McNasty. <laughs> McNasty just could not bring himself to give us a single cent, so we had to beg a third-party company. Yes, yes, we had to suck the CEO's big old Gamer Subs filled penis. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. possibly can say that. I no, don't I don't think we can say. <laughs> now, good segue. I mean, it's it tastes slant. great. It's not slant. It's yeah. not slander. <laughs> it does. They they have literally been sending us shit for like literal I, shit. I, I, like <laughs> they've been sending us flavors for like six months now, despite the mm -hmm. fact that we like 
just started actually talking about it and there has yeah. not been a single bad flavor yet it yeah. genuinely is good yep. mm-hmm. it's not dog shit like, uh, like my Jay neighbors my neighbors actually think that I'm in like a cartel because of all the random powdered packages that I'm, <laughs> I keep getting <laughs> at my front door yeah mine gets sent to my parents house so they always just yeah there's some drug <laughs> smuggling happening <laughs> no it's actually good stuff though I, I, I really like the yes. strawberry yes. one very 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 good I Personal only threw favorite. up twice yeah, my, okay, my pee is radioactive. It's because you eat it green, straight but. with no water. <laughs> I do. I actually, I, I take the little scooper and I just boop it into my mouth and then I slam a bottle of water. Like Dude, a real I, fucking I'm man. People have, uh, people have been having heart attacks from not, that recently. Don't you, do you heard that. about that? Okay. <laughs> don't. What do you mean? <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to do this stuff. It's yeah, don't, definitely don't do that. Perfectly fine. But people, people have been like, <laughs> uh, what is it called? Dry scooping. People have been dry scooping like pre, listen, pre-workout. Listen. Dying, dry, like I'm, a dry I'm a dry scooper. I'm a dry guy. Why are we? Why are we saying this in the middle of an ad read? <laughs> We've all done ad reads. We should know better than this. it tastes really good. It tastes even better when you use our and code I- goons for ten percent off. You mix the scoop. <laughs> Two scoops with 500 milliliters if you're of water. A pussy, no, if you're a no, pussy. No, no, if you if you want to live, this is what you do. <laughs> okay, I just want to point out the the brief says the first 500 uses will get killed for free. <laughs> <laughs> Who fucked up the brief again? Who do you think? <laughs> All right, what are we what are we actually saying here? The f- first five hundred users will will get free yes, shipping. Yes, the first yes. five hundred people will get fucked with free shipping. Okay, <laughs> the first five hundred people to use our code goons for ten percent off on Gseps. Gseps will get ten percent off and free shipping. Yeah, very mean? true. Ten percent off and free shipping. Code goons. Uh, if you don't know uh, how to spell, uh, that's G O O O O O O O O O. It's two O's. <laughs> the, the, act, the actual code is G O O N S. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, this is the longest fucking listen. ad read ever. All right. <laughs> listen, there's better ingredients than G Fuel and other brands. Basically, other brands and G Fuel can suck a fucking it's, big it's, old it's, dick. It's healthy. You know, I, I'm I'm the health retard here, and I researched all the ingredients before taking it. All right, and it's good stuff. It's a safe sweetener. It, it's been tested for 30 years. You're not gonna th- grow a third dick as much as that. That's longer than I've been alive. Right, as much as you might want a third dick, you won't grow one. I would no, love. Gamer Subs Wait. will give you that. You'll go to heaven if you drink Gamer Subs. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You, you'll get Inshallah or Can whatever. Can we say I that? How it works. <clears throat> gamer <laughs> Subs will cure COVID. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> no. No. And I notice on the brief that we fucked with again, it says it saves you zero dollars a month over G Fuel. So that's fantastic. It actually, it's at a hundred. <laughs> yes. You'll save a hundred dollars a month in okay, comparison. Okay, so if you are a caffeine... Yeah. If you are caffeine addicts or G Subs even has non caffeine of G Fuel a month. <laughs> if you are a caffeine addict and have G Fuel or G Subs or any sort of energy substance every day, this is the cheapest and Basically, best drink it because they give us money. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, let's wrap it up with that. All right. All right. Uh, it's good. It actually is good. Click the link in the description. Yes. Use code Goons 10% off or mm-hmm. die. And maybe one day we'll have our own flavor. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Or die. Maybe. Or they'll never talk to us again after hearing this break. Probably. <laughs> it's a 50-50 shot, so you guys need to go help us out and get some, please, or yep. we're going to... Or we'll we'll lose all yeah, of our money. Honestly, in the we, we signed a contract before we read it, and it said if we like don't get all the sales, that they're probably going to like take our life. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's slander, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's, uh, that's 100% what's happening. Don't get my hopes All right. Up. Actual podcast time. And we 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 go off the the final part of the brief that says liberals die in all caps. <laughs> Thank you, soup, for that. <laughs> all right, anyone got anything exciting to talk about? I do. No. Yeah, right, I stop. remember you saying that. that you had a story that you wanted to talk about on the podcast because you can't just tell stories to your friends. You got to monetize it. And blah, no, we blah, have blah, to monetize. Blah. I had to save the story. Only grow as friends on this podcast. Okay. Well, I wouldn't even okay, say that. Okay, tell us the story. Tell us the story. I'm going to alter a few of, of the, the, the uh, not the main story, but just the locales, all right? So okay. nothing okay. can be traced, and I will be safe in asylum. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. Not that you could trace <laughs> in the first place, but. <laughs> what did you do now? Okay, so basically, fuck Airbnb. 
I'm just gonna okay, start I, off. I didn't know where you were going with error there. I thought it was gonna. Have, <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to leave. All right. So me and some of my buddies wanted to go on a little trip, right? And mm-hmm. I booked us an Airbnb. Uh, it was like eight hundred dollars, right? Okay. And it was for a few nights. We were just like you know going and hanging out or whatever. And book this Airbnb, right? We take a trip there, and the guys like. Uh, telling me all the information and basically I have to download this other app called Latch or something that unlocks the door. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No. So anyway, yeah, takes a little while to get this app and he didn't send me all the information, whatever. I finally got it, got there and I opened the door and the place is trashed, right? Nice. So like somebody actually like fucked with the, not like trash, trash, but like just wasn't clean. It was not clean. There was, yeah. Uh Towels in the bathroom on the floor. Trash wasn't, wasn't taken out. There was a lot of trash that was like spilling over and food and shit in the fridge and none of the beds were made. And the couch was, you know, someone was sleep, like had been sleeping there. Uh Yeah. That's gross. Yeah. And like lights were on and shit. And it looked like I had walked in on like someone's like actual apartment or something. (laughs) You just walked in someone's house. Literally. (laughs) I I honestly was like, hello. Hey, is anyone home? You know, I didn't want to like die. Yeah. Right. So uh, I was like trying to figure out the best way to go about it. And I looked on the Airbnb app to figure out what to do. And I was like, the best thing to do is get in contact with the property owner. So I called the guy and I was like, hey man, the apartment's not cleaned or whatever. And he was like, oh shit, I'll be there in five minutes and I'll put you guys in a new apartment. And I was like, cool, that sounds fine. I don't, I really don't care. You know, like we had somewhere to be and I wasn't really going to be, you know, a bitch about it. So we waited outside for 40 fucking minutes. Mm. Yeah. Very didn't cool. hear anything. Didn't hear anything from the guy. And I was like, well, I mean, we don't really have time to be doing this. So I'm just going to go to a hotel and I I was going to like just figure it out as I left what to do on Airbnb. So I I sent in like a support thing and it said he had an hour to reply. So I just put my phone away and didn't think about it the rest of the night. Well, I woke up in the morning and I immediately called him. And the first thing that the lady was, was said was like, did you get pictures? And I was like, oh, fuck. No, I didn't get any pictures of the place. And yeah, so she was like, well, it's pretty much up to the property owner if he wants to refund you your $800 or not, because you didn't get, because you didn't get pictures. Does that make any sense? Like I would understand, I would understand if I was a new customer, but I have, I've been a customer with them since like 2017 and I've spent like, you know, a couple grand on this app. Mm Mm-hmm. Booked a yeah. lot of places with them, and I have a five star review because I don't leave a mess, or mm-hmm. you know, I I take care of the places that I stay. Yeah. So I was pretty fucking mad about that that they wouldn't take my word for it, and I like because I didn't take pictures. I just didn't think to take pictures. That wasn't my yeah. my first thought. Yeah. So I was like, <sighs> well, obviously, why would this stranger ever give me my eight hundred dollars back? You know what I mean? Yeah, he literally doesn't need yeah. to. Like, he doesn't lose anything from not doing right. that. Right. Like, what the fuck? Why would he give it back? So, can't you leave like, him a shit review? Well, yeah, you could, but I mean, it wouldn't change the fact that he still has my $800. Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> yeah. Review is not worth $800. No. Yeah. So, I was like, well, what if I just go back and get pictures? And the lady was like, well, I mean, I guess if you can do that, then we can do it immediately. And I was like, Okay. Well, I was hoping that he hadn't changed the, the app login and stuff, you know, for the lock, because I still had the lock yeah. app downloaded. Mm-hmm. So we drove back over there <laughs> and we go in. The place hasn't been cleaned. And the guy, like Airbnb, was messaging me and saying that the guy wasn't answering their phone calls. So he's not answering them. He hasn't messaged me or told the me. Guy? Yeah, like the owner. He hasn't told me anything. So and he's not oh, answering fuck. Airbnb. He fled the country with your eight hundred bucks. <laughs> so I was so what I did was like I was like, dude, fuck this guy, right? And all my friends are like, Yeah, fuck this guy. So I got oh, no. <laughs> Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> so, so I got pictures of everything, like all the rooms, and I sent it to Airbnb. I got my money back. I pissed on this man's cloth couch. <laughs> Dude. 
Oh my God. <laughs> I covered it with a pillow. We stole the beer out of the fridge and I got my $800 back. And I fucking deleted Airbnb. <laughs> fuck you, Airbnb. <laughs> You've lost a customer. Go fuck yourself. And fuck that guy. Enjoy your piss stained cloth couch, you fucking bitch. <laughs> that ended so much worse than I thought it was going to at the start of this story. Uh, yeah, Airbnb deserved, is uh, deserved. It's 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 a risky thing. We luckily, like my one friend, takes pictures of like everything whenever we go somewhere, whether it's like a hotel room or whatever. But uh, we got to a cottage that we booked through Airbnb, and she took pictures when we got there and when we left. And it was like fat bug season at this cottage, so there was like literally millions upon millions of flies like outside the door, oh, like man. I think they're called lake flies. I forget what they're called, but like at nighttime, they would all gather at like the the glass like windows and shit and glass sliding doors because they would see like light from like the bedroom or something because mm-hmm. we try to turn as many lights off as we can. But like we need to see <laughs> it's like a zombie um, apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, fucking literally. So like we'd go in and out like coming back from the fire or something or just like going in to grab a drink or like pee or something and a few flies would get in and that over like five day span covered the ceiling in flies. Oh my God. We couldn't God. do anything about it. Like, we literally could not do anything about it. And she told us not to worry about it. So we're like, okay, whatever. Um, and then all that was, like, the only bad thing we did. And then we moved her, her couch because it made no sense. The TV was in, like, the corner. And all the couches were in the corner. And it was, like, this massive living room. So we moved everything to the center. Forgot to move it back. Um, but she filed a claim through Airbnb saying that we did $4,000 worth of damage oh, and that uh, the hell? entire house needs to be repainted inside and out. Oh, my and God. And that we lit stuff on fire. She told them that we, like, broke her toilets. Like, she told Airbnb <laughs> that we, that like, one. trashed yeah. this place. And you she had all told pictures Airbnb of it, though, right? that we that we trashed this place. Yeah, well, our one friend went along that had the pictures and was just like, let's just see what she says. Like, let's just, let's just see if she, like, owns up to it and was like, yeah, okay, it's fine. So she disputed it without pictures originally. And the lady was sticking to her guns and was like, I'm calling a lawyer and shit. And then Airbnb had to like get involved and be like, okay, like, do you have pictures? We just sent them all. Airbnb did their like little estimate thing and was like, yeah, we would say like $50 for paint on the ceiling because of how many dead flies there were. And that's it. So she didn't end up paying the $50 either. She just deleted her account and nothing has happened since. But the lady tried to charge fat. And if she didn't take pictures, then we could have absolutely been fucked. And had to pay money, mm. but Damn. yeah, Airbnb is uh, it's 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 a risky risky uh, app. But it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. They can go fuck themselves, dude. That that's no. And there's like so shitty. The problem is, is they can just also decide to like cancel your reservation. Like Danielle and one of her friends were going to Toronto for a concert. It's like a four hour drive, and they had it booked for like weeks. And as soon as they got to Toronto, they went to go like text the dude to be like, hey, we're, we're here. Like, you know, can you unlock the door? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm canceling your reservation. So they just drove there, had all their shit and just could not stay at the place they've had booked for weeks. That's so fucked. I had to go get like, cool. a hotel, like triple the money. Yeah, it's just like I just don't like using Airbnb as much as possible. I am not a fan. Yeah, I'm not using it ever again after that. Like the fact that they they're not going to take my word for it when I. Like, I would understand if I was a new customer, like I said. Brand new, like one, yeah, one time, but right. yeah. you've stayed multiple times. Yeah, and I've time. never had, like, a bad review, so. Yeah. I've never used Airbnb. I have once, and it was shit then, too. The, the one time I I stayed <laughs> yeah. in Airbnb, the AC broke in the entire place. Um, oh, and man. It was, and it was in the dead of summer, so it was, like, 100 degrees outside every day. And the, the owner just brought over some floor fans and was like, good luck for the weekend. Or whatever, and so yeah, nah. I slept like because I can't sleep when it's hot. So I slept like four hours the entire weekend, and it felt like dog shit. Just stay in the hotel. Yeah, stay in I don't good mind hotel. hotels. Easy, if easy. you're with a bunch of people, though, I love hotels. Having a bunch of people kind of sucks. Having a hotel because you just, bro, what just, do you mean? Just rent out rooms next to each other. Yeah, but it's most cool, hotels you're just, have you're, doors. Like, everybody's open. spending a lot more money when you can just all pitch in for one. Isn't Verbo a competitor? Yeah, I was actually gonna ask, like, what do you what do you do Verbo? other than Airbnb? Is there Verbo another? is I, I keep seeing ads for uh for Verbo. Verbo. They probably heard they probably heard you yelling "fuck Airbnb" in your car or something yeah. and start showing you ads. <laughs> well, I had actually I had been seeing them uh, for a, a couple of months now, and honestly, I'd I'd be down to try them out, but I don't know, dude. I, I would that makes me just want to stay in a hotel now. Mm-hmm. You're you're probably seeing those ads because of your Airbnb experience. 
I, I found out this the other day I was reading, uh, I don't know if it was on Reddit or something, but there was like a guy who actually used to work in, I don't know if he used to, or if he still works in like, uh, like what's the term I'm trying to think of the term. Like when you like tracking, like people like, like personal, like personal ads like and a stuff. Travel agent. No, 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 no. Like, uh, like, no, like, like, you know how you get ads? Like, have you ever, yeah, just have you ever gone ads. somewhere like a grocery store and you saw this really obscure item and then you go home and you have that ad for that obscure item? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Not that exact thing, but like yeah. You, you ever feel like you're getting tracked by humans? You are, yeah, like 100%. Yeah. And it's yeah, no wild shit. because, like, if you come in contact, so, like, if you come in contact near your, like, parent's phone and you guys are on the same Wi-Fi or something, it, it, it will almost, like, pick up all the information from your parent's phone and start suggesting that shit to you. So, like, if your mom's searching for, like, a certain type of thing and then you go, like, around her, you can start getting those ads on your phone. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is wild. That's uh, that's well, that's that's just IP based. Usually, like stuff like that is usually IP. Yeah, based. it's just crazy to think. Yeah, I remember. Well, I remember a while okay. back when I when I that explains why my family was complaining about all the incest porn ads. <laughs> I don't think they make ads for incest porn. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't from where I'm from, boy. You're not going on the right website. <laughs> you ain't from around these parts, are you? I don't even know if they need ads there for <laughs> incest. I think that's just the meta. They spend that's about the five dollars. You'll see them every once in a while. It's it's so weird that like a step bro stepsister it just blew up and then now it's just like a thing now it's just always yeah y'all are finally seeing how the South has it, has it made yeah, finally some y'all representation start, yeah y'all starting to understand now Let's go get educated anyways <laughs> but I get what you're saying McNasty but yeah. I had been seeing those ads like uh like months ago before I had booked an Airbnb oh, okay. like before I had booked this Airbnb yeah I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about Airbnb. I don't I don't fuck with it. I've just ever since Danielle had that issue and they've tried to charge my friend. I've just always done hotels. They're more expensive, but like you you're never going to get to a hotel and they're going to be like, "Yeah, we actually canceled your reservation." <laughs> like you're just right. you're not going to have yeah. that. Yeah, and if they tell you to get a new room, they're going to give you a new room. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. going to give you something. They're not just going to be like, "Yeah, sorry, bye." Yeah, when I went to when I went to Vegas, my sister and dad's room like wasn't ready when they got there, so they just literally gave him like the next room over. Yep. Like yeah, Airbnb's not gonna be like, oh yeah, I have this other house that I own that you can just stay mm-hmm. in. No. Or you just you just come bunk in my <laughs> house, fuck it. Well, <laughs> see, they do that. It, it's not Airbnb really. <laughs> it's pretty much it seemed like all the power was in the property owners. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I can kind of see why that would be it would be a good idea on paper, but then you have those yeah. those few instances where it's like. Okay, well, they're lying to me, and they're n- actively not doing anything to help. So, yeah, I mean, it kind of almost is like Uber. Like you, you have an app that provides you this service to where you can become uh, a contract, like your own person, like your own boss. But you have the power of like saying no to people and control. Like if you get an Uber and it the AC is broken and it smells like shit and there's trash all over the floor, like that's not that's not Uber's fault. That's the person driving's fault you know yeah man i don't i don't i don't do anything but uber black it, it's just so much fucking better it's like ten dollars more there's a blaringly obvious nope. joke to be made <laughs> no there's not there's, we're not gonna make it though uber black. Are, are the cars longer <laughs> actually yeah they are they're always like a yukon or like escalate or something mm, the cars are always <laughs> black and longer they they literally are though that's like a lot the whole more point white is, women in them <laughs> Absolutely, you could get like seven of those fuckers in there. Mm. Yeah, no Uber Black. It's what do you actual. Mean by those it's fuckers. A, it's, yeah, <laughs> little, little white bitches. Oh, oh. not a little oh. bottom. You know. Okay. But yeah, Uber Black, like ten dollars more. Absolutely worth it if you have the the means to. It's like an actual professional driver, and they drive like a fleet vehicle, not like their mom's Civic. Mm. So it's always like clean. It's always like wiped down. I would be down. I, I would. I would really be down yeah. to try it. But you know where I'm from, we're still segregated with our Ubers down here. So <laughs> Uber <laughs> kind of hard. Uber. Yeah, I think white. Yeah, our, I'll look, I'll be looked <laughs> down upon if I try and switch sides. You know, I got, <laughs> we're still segregated. <laughs> I love when you bust up laughing at your own. <laughs> you proud of that one? <laughs> hey, God, that was funny. <laughs> I love just how much he really reiterated <laughs> that they are in fact still segregated <laughs> down there. <laughs> in case you did not catch it, the first seven times in that joke, they, they are still segregated. There are no in companies with black in the title. 
where soup is from. No. <laughs> Colored Ubers park here. <laughs> oh, it's mm. a joke. I am joking. <laughs> oh, anyway, oh, that's a pretty good scream. Your pet, your pet walrus. Uh, yeah, sorry, I gotta. Imagine having a pet walrus. What about El Ubre? You tried that yet? El Ubre. They're short, but they get the they get there really fast. <laughs> they just come on a bicycle. <laughs> you fill them up with Corona and lime, and they just they fucking get you there it's quick a, as it's fuck. Just a riding mower. <laughs> just a little, seat a little in the riding back. mower with one of the side carts. <laughs> Kill two birds with one stone, I say. <laughs> You're just driving over people's lawns to your destiny. Anyway, that's stupid. He's working two jobs. <laughs> two jobs. <laughs> this is such like a, a recording session joke. <laughs> Making racist jokes on the Goons podcast. Good times. Oh. <sighs> this, this, this is, this is why no guests. This is why. No guests. Oh, he had Upa. That was pretty fun. But he's he's yeah. also very inclusive. On the what racist? Apology. He's also a racist guy too. He makes him pretty good. He's racist. Just slander him. <laughs> you can say the N word around him. He don't care. I just enjoy people that like to joke. I, I like to. I like people that joke and pick around. You know, just yeah, joke pick around. around. Pick around. At other people's expenses. Yeah. People that don't take life too yeah. seriously. Yes. Yeah. 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 God forbid if they ever make a joke about me, I'll kill them. That's right. Yeah. Other people, right. though. I'm perfect. That's, I'm all about that. Talk about the South. We're going to have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Talk shit, get hit. Don't get my boom stick. Boom stick? What's that? Boom. My boom stick. <laughs> oh. Like the thing that holds your mic when you're. Like click, click, boom. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, he's got a boom stick. I was thinking like a boom arm, like a mic arm. Yeah. I'm going to hit you upside the head with my boom arm. That's because you <laughs> are my boom idiot. arm from my mic. <laughs> <laughs> Swinging it around and stuff. Just in a southern southern bar. <laughs> Speaking of being from the south, I helped save a kitten from a sewer. Why is it a, a southern only? Yeah, thing? what do you in a, mean? In a wall in a Walmart parking lot. Okay, there's the south. Ah. <laughs> okay, we have Walmart's here. Not the same. They're different vibe Walmarts. The further south you go, the more like Walmarty a Walmart is. Oh, I don't know. We have a gross Walmart here. You don't have a gross Walmart. <laughs> You're missing Everybody's out, got dude. a gross Walmart. Honestly, the Walmart here is like disappointingly Canadian still. Like there's just normal people walking oh, around. That's like you don't fun. see Walmart people. Yeah, that's not fun. It is actually extremely disappointing. Toronto Walmart is yeah. Toronto Walmart is bussing, bro. There is every type of butt crack available. Say, well, boxy, 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 boxy. What are you saying? So please don't unironically say bussin' on this podcast, sir. Bro, it bussin'. Okay. There's there's every type of butt crack possible. The only person that doesn't use TikTok yet, you're saying bussin' bussin'? Man, that's disgusting. I hate it. Stop. Please. Bussin'. T- t- I almost called you TikTok. <laughs> I said, Soup, if you use TikTok, you probably actually really fucking enjoy it. I think you just, the problem is you watch those like cringe compilations. I enjoy that. Think, you think that's all TikTok, but it's not. I never see that kind of shit on TikTok. No, I mean, Nasty, unlike you, I don't see uh, one thing for what it is and then judge everything else based off that You've literally one, told me uh, that before, that you don't like no, TikTok because it's stupid. True. I don't like TikTok because I just don't want to use it. I just don't have no purpose. It is a time waster. For real, for yeah. real. Yeah. Well, it's just I like get, any other social absolutely. media, really. But I get my enjoyment out of those yeah. cringe compilations and I'm I'm good. Yeah. There you go. Right. As long as Fair you enough. find your joy. I found my niche. I just, I wonder what your For You page would be like. Gun TikTok, probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a lot of Southern, Southern people. I like prison TikTok. Oh, uh, are you talking about like people that are actually in prison? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen those. And they, they get that they like Nokia. get up and get ready for their day and like brush their teeth in like a little broken mirror. No, I like watching them make pizzas out of ramen. Oh, like, I've seen that before too. A slice of old bologna on top of it is pepperoni. Mm-hmm. Why do they just have phones? And can you have phones? Yeah, in jail? I, I'm ignorant on this. I don't <clears> understand. <throat> if you're really like low, like if you're good in prison, like you're a good person, like you don't cause fights and you're. I don't know. You just if, okay. there's a lot of those in prison. I've come to find out a lot of good people in there. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> a lot of good. Well, it's probably in people who are not vicious criminals. It's probably people who are in there for just yeah, selling just some... weed or something. You know. So you're allowed a phone. If you're like a low profile criminal or something, low yeah, profile, you, can, yeah. you can keep selling. Like bro. they're not going to give fucking <laughs> like a a quad homicide maniac a phone quad in fucking homicide. prison. Got a quad? I mean, I can walk into Verizon just fine. So, all right. What are you, what are you, I've killed four people. 
Oh, okay. Nice. nice. Admitting there. Did you kill them all in yeah. the exact same way? Mm-hmm. I'm leaving mm. my own little touch on it, you know. Nice. <laughs> oh, cool. I put a little pinch of dip in their mouth before I a little leave. Chili their body pee on them, on them bodies. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you just piss on their couch. Put a little pinch of dip in their mouth and a little Miller Lite can in their hand and just leave them to rot. <laughs> it's a Southern killer. Strike southern two. killer. Yeah. The Southern Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of. You should do that. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. I've been thinking about it. Commit murder. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. But commit murder, but be cute about it. You know. Yeah. Be cute about it. Have a th have a themed murder. <laughs> if you just murder for sport, it ain't no fun. But what are y'all gonna be for Halloween? Speaking of murder and spooky things, I'm gonna be Squid Game guy. <laughs> well, fuck that. I hate. I did. So many people are gonna be that this Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when uh well, when popular thing is popular right now. No shit. When Negan from uh, from Walking Why? Dead was big, everybody I'll was everybody was Negan. It's not my fault. That's his name. I I was thinking about being a ghost, but then I went to a town hall meeting, and there were already so many <laughs> other ghosts. Oh, that I was yeah. like, I gotta do I gotta do something more original. So just a regular old town hall meeting. <laughs> They all had their torches. And everyone was already Pitch dressed torches. up early, so I was like, man, this kind of sucks. They stole my idea, so I got to think of something else. <laughs> They've been dressed up all summer. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. I just love that you damn holiday. Words. Anyway, what are you guys going to be for <laughs> Halloween? <laughs> I'm being Gru and Danielle's being a minion. That's awesome. Oh, I'm usually that's not anything for Halloween. I just sit at home and beat off. Yeah. I. You sound boring. <laughs> I'm probably going to dress up and go on Omegle, if that counts. Hmm. Um, That's something. What are you going to What are you gonna be on Omegle? Well, well I had to... Again, no. <laughs> I, I, I am done with that. I never want to... What's up? I never want to do that again. Fuck that. Oh, um, do that again, please? Do that one more time? What's up? How are you? No, fuck off. <sighs> um, oh, I'm probably just going to... I had to pick mm. a mask that like completely like covers my whole face, so probably just like ghost face or something. Aren't you already ghost face? Who's, who's okay. gonna say it? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just wearing nothing. I'm naked. You guys are um, you guys are mean for making fun of me. For well, the you're color you're white, okay? The point of the joke is that you're the hot. color of my skin. I can't help it. Well, I'm here to make fun of it. I unironically dressed up as a minion in high school. Let's go, really? dude. That's what Danielle's being. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's the wave. But I kind of ended up. I ended up looking more like Wario, like retarded Wario. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I went to Spirit. A couple of Spirit. Do you guys have Spirit Halloween? I don't know if that's mm -hmm. like a. Yep, everywhere's got yeah, Spirit Halloween. I guess that's just like a national thing. Then um, I went to a couple ones uh, yesterday. Yeah, like Subway. Do you guys? Do you guys? I don't know if you guys still have it or not. Uh, but do you ever remember going as a kid and they had like an area where they had like the really good. Like expensive, like nice, well done masks. That weren't just I thought like you were going to say ones. raw butt sex for some reason, but yeah, yeah. no, it definitely was going to say why, that. But why, yeah, why, I remember why that section. They, they, the raw they butt They don't sex? have it anymore. I went yeah, to I went to a couple different. I went to <laughs> no raw butt sex section. I went to like a regular spirit, and then I went to like the biggest spirit in town. They didn't have that. I, I guess they just stopped doing that. So they don't have expensive masks now. <laughs> no. I mean, they have masks, but they're all it's it's just like the mass produced ones that are kind of like just basic and yeah, like twenty dollar masks. Rubber. But they they used to have a section where like, I don't know if it was like local people made the mask or they just had like a group that would like custom make like a really good. They were like movie quality. I don't remember that to be honest. Yeah, uh, they were like really like a movie quality mask. Like yeah, like really good. Like ones that had like moving parts it, and shit. It was like a big weapon wall, yeah, and they would just hang in there. Is that what yeah, you're talking you about? You couldn't access it directly. You have to have like you'd be come like, over. let me try that one on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I wanted to get one this year. That like, sounds awesome. Cool to have like a. I remember they had like a predator mask. Um, and it, it had like the. It was like a bust. <laughs> like it would go like. Which under. YouTuber was it? <laughs> <laughs> we were all thinking the same. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. <laughs> predator from the movie. Predator. Uh huh. You could just buy a Bill Cosby mask. <laughs> Predator in the movie Predator. <laughs> yeah, did, you, did, it, did it come with a little, like... Bill Cosby from the Cosby but show. But it went, it went, like, all the way down to, like, your chest. It wasn't just, like, a face mask. Like, it... it come with you could, like, tuck dick. it under your shirt. A little chest yeah, mask. No, but it was sick. It, like, it moved with your jaw, and, like, if you talked, it would move, and... Oh. That was wild. Yeah, I think I remember it being, like, $300 when I was a kid. Damn. Yeah, that's probably why they stopped making them, because no one was buying them. No one was buying them. That's what I was assuming, yeah, that's... Probably not a lot of people buy yeah, those. We we never had that here, to my knowledge. I don't, unless I just don't remember it, but mm. I uh, I feel like there was never like crazy good masks there. I feel like it was always just like 
Do you want to be a slutty cowboy or something? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yes. They have like a mask section, but it's like the purge masks and then just like random, like yeah. a cow or Jason, you know, cow. basic shit that's been around for 500 fucking years. What if COVID wasn't real and the government just wanted everyone to dress up as surgeons as a prank <laughs> yeah. for like two years and see how long we could all be dressed up as surgeons? America would not be very good at that prank. Mm-mm. I'm about to shit my pants if that's okay. Do it. Do it loudly, yep. please. Oh! <laughs> Why'd you yell? I just... It scared him. I just, it's, I'm always a little bit afraid I'm going to shit myself, I actually. You, I think you scared your asshole. <laughs> you, like, screamed. Then it, <laughs> it was like a reactionary fart. Oh. <laughs> what are you, just like a silent farter? You just put some life into uh, it. I want you. I want you guys to hear one of my like, like when mm-hmm. I when I fart when I have like stomach pain. We did. You you said you, you said farted like forty on your Snapchats dog. of us you oh, farting right, on your yeah. dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I had you just bad. Yes, farting and farting and farting on your dog you like multiple kept videos. Screaming. Sent me video proof of animal abuse. Yeah. <laughs> Literally just kept screaming and farting. I, on I your hate dog. how much you guys have slandered my name over if the, the years. If the vegan teacher watched I'm that, she would fed die. the fuck up. She'd fall over, over and the die. fucking McNasty slander over the past couple years. It's just so goddamn easy, McNasty. Yeah. You make it way too easy. <laughs> well, first of all, you guys are just straight up fucking lying. Okay, so what, what do you are we lying? What, 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 what are we lying about? My dog was in front of me dog. in the Snapchat. My dog was laying in front of me. My asshole's in the back of me. I don't know if you know where an asshole is on the human body. And I was farting away from my <laughs> dog. Covers were she like wasn't going, laying up on my so. asshole and I was farting in her mouth. She was you in had front peanut of me. butter on your butthole and your dog was licking it and you farted. You queefed your during dog sex was with your dog. down next to you on the couch and you farted. You queefed during sex with your dog. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what happened. Now you're just making it fucking worse. McNasty put his entire body weight on you know that 30-pound dog the dude and Bark have sex with each other. I said it. I said it absolutely, all the time, all baby. The time. I'm gonna deny that. And they use they use human shit for lube. They use human shit for lube. My penis is small. And they hate Jewish people. All three of them. I'm pro Jew. No. I'm pro Jew. <laughs> pro Jew. You're a professional Jew. Jew. Professional Jew. <laughs> Those are just financial advisors. <laughs> three on my this. They support ISIS. Um. Uh, well. And Hitler. Yeah, might be true I for s- one of the I three. Support, I support Hitler. I support the home team. Uh, um, I had a corn dog today. <laughs> well, he's not very. In your asshole, Jew. Yep. Did you consume it via ass? Mm-hmm. I ass chugged the corn dog. <laughs> and I just pulled out a clean stick from his ass. There ain't nothing about that stick clean, boy. Never was, <laughs> never will be. Did your asshole also get the little crusty breading that sticks on the stick? Mm-hmm. The one you really got to <laughs> nom off of there. <laughs> You gotta nibble at it like a little <laughs> yeah, retarded squirrel. The, the little burnt spot on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's always the best though. For some reason, you just pinch it off with your teeth. I just eat the whole <laughs> stick. Pinching anything off with yeah. my teeth. <laughs> what are we talking about? Just right last now? week, I figured out how to get the last bite off without gagging myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you do it sideways? You can do it sideways. Yeah, I didn't know that. Huh. I would huh. love to see you eat a hot dog. Okay, like you've said that what to you, someone before. You eat a hot dog sideways? <laughs> you've definitely sent that to a female yeah. before. Absolutely. <laughs> Especially with mayonnaise on it, uncooked. That's how he. That's how he enters woman's DMs. Yeah. I dare you to text that to your dad right now. See what he says back. <laughs> sure love to see you hot dog, boy. <laughs> you probably eat a raw hot dog with mayonnaise on it, like he does. Yeah, so true. He would literally just send me a picture of. of huh, that's funny. I just get a. Notification for our podcast being posted. I've never seen that before. Dude, that's so funny. Damn, dude. It's <laughs> just weird. <laughs> Have you guys been getting a lot of YouTube notifications lately? Like from just pe- people nope. posting? No. Huh. For some reason, like lately, no, I've been... even channels I do have notifications on, they don't send them to me because apparently I don't want them. Channels I didn't even know I was subscribed to anymore. I keep getting notifications. It's weird. I don't know. Well, maybe notifications. That's a good thing to hear. Yeah, I know. Maybe, maybe notification land is starting to become more true. Accessible. Well, mine, mine's the opposite, but yeah. Well, for the longest time, I'd have gotten no notifications. The only person I would get notifications for is Do. That's the only why. person I ever get notifications for, and I'm so mad. Yeah, I think you, I think you just have secret connection with YouTube that you're not telling us about. Yeah, you just, well, you're banging Susan. You're mm-hmm. banging Susan. Yep. Or she's banging you. <laughs> well, yeah, she she throws me up against a wall. <laughs> yeah, I'm her little bitch. I'm just a hole for her. That is it. She's probably taller than you. Let me look, let me look up at that. Okay. Susan? <laughs> There's <what>? no way. <laughs> 
She's six eight. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That's is... six eight, two eighty of muscle. That's sexy. She's fifty three. Oh, right in your age age frame, dude. Right there. Perfect. Yep, that's my target age. Yeah. She's five four. Damn. <laughs> Oh damn! Oh, oh, she's got you beat by an inch. That's not enough. Yeah, <laughs> not interested. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's not very Helga esque. No. Helga esque. <laughs> How would you describe yourself? Oh, Hel- Helga esque. <laughs> Women's oh, basketball coach, leader, woman. Anyways, she's yeah. worth five hundred fifty million dollars. It's crazy. Oh really? Yeah. Can we get a penny of that? <laughs> <laughs> You know, building her immense wealth. I wonder if she was already wealthy before she became the leader of what YouTube. What do people do with that much money? Oh, like, God, no. Past, like... Whatever they want to, whenever they want to. Go to space, however apparently. However they want to. That's that's the meme. Bro, now. even past, like, 10 mil. Like, what do you, what do you even they do? They start collecting art, and it's just they just get boring and gay, and they pretend, like, molded cheese tastes good. Then they spend $500 hey, on wine blue cheese that is tastes great. like muddy water. Oh, blue cheese is... Dude, I... I Ate a, I bought a salad like a couple weeks ago and I didn't know it had blue cheese in it and I just bit into a huge chunk of blue cheese. I was super close to throwing up all over my desk. Yeah, you you got to have like fucking disgusting. Small small little little chunks of it in something. You can't have I just, like dude, the flavor. It's the you flavor. You can't eat a bite out of blue cheese. I don't mind the flavor. I like ranch. Fl- it just tastes ranch like ranch is good. Ranch gang. Ranch is the goat. Uh, comment ranch section. Is great on everything but comment salad. section. Ranch or blue cheese, gang. If you eat blue cheese, never talk to me ever. Fight amongst yourselves. Lord. What about green I, cheese? I have <laughs> eaten blue cheese multiple blue times. Cheese is, and I, I just don't get it. it. Like when I put it in my mouth, I almost felt like I, I, I there was a bug in my salad. And I just ate like a like a grub. I could just eat like a fucking, it's like a huge mess. That has got to be some cursed ass blue cheese then. That blue cheese might have gone like bad beyond blue cheese. It might have just been bad cheese at that Why point. Why do they call it blue cheese? Because the mold coloring on it is blue. You're eating literal mold. Oh. Uh. I mean, have you ever eaten any cured meats? That's all covered in mold. I have not. Never eaten like a, a slice of fucking prosciutto. I have not. Would you call what? cannibalism eating cured meat? If, if the person is cured... Well, if they're yeah. vaccinated and I eat them, is that cured meat? I, that's something you'd have to ask science. I'm not yeah. sure. The logistics <laughs> Let me call Mr. Science. Let me call Mr. Science. Yeah, why don't you, yeah, why don't you shoot, <laughs> shoot science a text? <laughs> if you get so rich that you're like not eating bagel bites, like you, if you can't enjoy the warm embrace of a bagel bite, then your wealth is ruining your life. I feel like life. every rich person eats normal food. Like they also eat... You know, filet mignon wrapped in fucking gold. I feel like... But they also eat McDonald's. Right. No, they definitely don't. I feel like it depends how they got their wealth. If they're, like, generational wealth, then no. They're, like, this for fucking poor people. But if it's just, like, self-made, wealthy person, it's Mm -hmm. like, yeah, they'll go eat Wagyu at 6 p.m. and then get McDonald's at 2 a.m. when they're slammed off. Oh, I finally had Japanese, by the way. uh, Japanese Wagyu. Nice. I had so much of it the last week. It was really... It almost was too good. Hmm. It's too much. Like it is. you can really only do four ounces of it max, and then you're like, Ugh. it's like it's like eating an Oreo. Like you can eat like four of them or something, but then if you if you eat like twenty five, you're like, oh, you're gonna you're gonna die. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt while eating it. Yeah, four, four ounces is a max. I'll do of a five. If you do like a seven, like Australian or a nine, or even like some American wagyu, you can do like eight ounces and be like still enjoy it. Like I had, uh, I think it was a, I want to say a nine. I think it was. I can't remember. Um, at a Japanese restaurant, and I had eight ounces, and I was like, "Fine." I didn't feel disgusting after anything. It's very good. Is though. that like a rating of how fatty it is, or what? What is A nine? Yeah, A five. A five is the fatty, fattiest steak like you can get, but it's not like it's not gross fat like you're thinking of. It's like a super like buttery. Like if you if you hold a raw piece of it, the butter or the fat will like melt. In yeah, your you don't have to even chew it really. It just kind of no, it just kind of goes down. It's not the fat that you're thinking of on like a New York strip that you buy for like twelve dollars from Walmart that has like that super right tough so gross fat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it's it's a very very different texture and type of fat. It is like extremely overpriced, but it's like a rare thing, and obviously like you know people put it as a premium product because mm-hmm. they can. But if you have the chance to try it, it is absolutely fantastic. But honestly, any sort of like. Like even American Wagyu is relatively cheap and it is not as good, but it's it's enough. I would say you can eat more of the American than you can the Japanese. Oh, absolutely. And still enjoy That's what it. I was saying. Yeah. 
That's what I was saying. Like four ounces max of uh, A5 and you're going to be like wanting to fucking kill yourself because it's way too much. I just want to point out that while you're having that conversation, I burped and coughed and cleared my throat a bunch of times and you guys didn't hear it. That's so yeah. nice that you got a fucking foot pedal for your disgusting piece it's of shit. It's actually not even a foot pedal. I just have it right here on my desk. It's, it's small. But I just use my thumb to... So does that... That cuts out on the podcast too? Yeah, yeah. It cuts out... Uh, so you're doing real-time editing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what I... Because I, I hated like hearing my... Because like I usually li- listen back to most of our podcasts. Um, usually if it's like one of our boring ones, I won't listen to it. But I know if it's a good one, I'll listen to it. <laughs> Um, and yeah, what I was, is this I was, one? you guys will be talking. I'm like, <clears throat> like clearing my throat. And I'm like, ah, it's fucking annoying. Yeah. So I just, just bought this little thing. And I just, just get my mouth <laughs> <tip it up. laughs> dude, and It just works really good. Dude, dude that was the most passive aggressive. We've been saying ever. this for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I, hey, nasty. How much do you trust it? Like, does it hundred percent work on the podcast? Yeah, I know. I can, I can see it in, in, uh, in audacity when I push it. Let's find out. I Say something and, that would cancel you. Say a slur. <laughs> I just oh, God. Oh, He's going my God. <laughs> He's just going in. What did you think he said, comment section? Like Dora the Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear the racial what? slur? It literally just cuts the signal between my mic and my preamp. So. Oh, you got like one of them emo things. Yeah. I used to have one that was like a foot thing, but it only muted Discord. Like if I <laughs> cleared my throat in like Discord, but it would still pop up on like a recording or whatever. Yeah. Well, you make a lot of bodily noises. Yeah, like I, I, I do. Like I cleared my throat a couple times this podcast. You know, a lot. But you're a like, lot of it is from in like the middle waking of a story. Up. You're like because <laughs> usually, usually when we <laughs> when we record or whatever, I'm usually like freshly awake, and I just well, yeah, you sleep 17 hours a day. You fucking actually, I snowbacks. don't. I just have I just sleep at terrible hours. Like I only slept like eight yeah. hours today. I just happened to oh, go to bed at like oh, 5 a.m. You are so brave. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm not saying I'm brave. I'm just I like that. Literally a week ago, last time we talked, you're like, "Yep, sleep schedule's fixed." Last night, seven thirty, I see a message. Sorry, I slept longer than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it should Wake never up. last very long. Wake up during normal business hours. <laughs> well, I did today. You're asleep when businesses are closed. I refuse to ever miss a podcast again. Didn't ask. Plus, you're white. Plus, L. Yeah, you plus fell ratio. Off. Yeah, bad take. Shit take. What? Take a shit. <laughs> so you don't use TikTok, but you talk like a. 14 year old Twitter shiitake commenter. mushroom plus L no that's like a Keemstar fan that's talking like a Keem fan every time anybody says anything his whole replies is just you fell off L plus ratio, ratio yeah. and and they all have zero likes dude it's so funny <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's actually so funny when people all do the same thing mm-hmm. I laugh every time yeah I laugh when there is no originality to anything I laugh and when we are all die. yeah boring non sentient robot beings and are told when to laugh and when to cry. We have no emotions. Are you okay? I laugh when kill. No. Oh. <laughs> well all right. I wasn't expecting a no and I don't actually care enough to ask. So let's move yeah, on. Please don't talk about it. I like to move it, move it. I'm gonna take the fattest shit after this podcast is over. Dude same I told you guys to know that. Me too. I feel one brewing. Why does no one ever say I'm gonna take a skinny shit? I'm gonna take the smallest shit, dude. It's gonna be like a it's gonna be like a little rabbit nug. I'm gonna shoot a few pellets. Well, I feel like if it's it's thin, then your colon is probably I just feel like, like most of the time you just shit and then you don't say anything about it. You just go and shit, but then when you feel like you have to take a massive dump, you have to vocalize. Oh, it. I always announce my shits to whoever's in earshot. <laughs> I have to shit. <laughs> okay, Eric the dude. Everyone, shut up! I gotta poop. <laughs> Mama poopers! <laughs> <laughs> Just to come and wipe your little f- your little taint. Yeah, Duber still wipes oh. my butt. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, honestly. <laughs> Is anyone surprised? As much as you just let your butthole just have free reign over your existence. <laughs> you just, You're flexing your butthole usage. Free range butthole. Free range. <laughs> Grass fed butthole. Pasture raised ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, but your butthole is just wild. It's crazy. It's, it's all over the place. It's on your bed. On your used to be on your chair. Probably still is on your chair now. You one of them homegrown <laughs> corn fed country boys, aren't you? Yeah. You see my shit mm. apparently. I can tell. Yeah, you've been eating a lot of ham, ain't you, boy? I can smell it on you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just imagine you, like, fingering your belly button shirtless while you're saying that to him. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, trying to dig for, like, a little, like a limp ball. little thing of cotton in there. Yeah. This was really a free country, boy. I'd bend over and put a ham hock in your butthole in that little doo-doo pussy. <laughs> I know that pussy is hairless, boy. 
I could smell it. <laughs> now you got some peach fuzz on that bussy. <laughs> I want to count no, them. My badussy is all natural, baby. Are you a hairy person? Me? Are any of you like act like hairy people like on your body? I'd say I like hairy. I'm Arab. What do you think? I'm hairy in certain parts and not in others. Like my armpits a jungle. Really? Yeah. I have like zero armpit hair. I don't know why. I just never grew it. But I have a full beard. Blarg, you should you should grow a big ass beard and like I can't. And you you should do that and start wearing a, a turban. I can't. I got Arab hair everywhere but my face. I got white people hair. <laughs> That's weird. I have literally the opposite. Like I have short arm hair, short leg hair, but I have like a full beard. I can grow a beard no problem. I got chest hair, tummy fuzz. Even like my ass and pubes are like thin hairs. <laughs> like fuck. nice. And <laughs> I'm just not a hairy person. I don't even. I don't even remember what's going on down there. Men that I have shaved not- their chest hair are pussies. I used to because it was so uncomfortable, dude. It's shit. I literally had to trim it like every fucking day. Otherwise, it would get itchy as hell. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just shaving it. And then I realized that that's way too much work. So I stopped. Mm-hmm. But honestly, chest hair is fucking annoying. It is like extremely annoying. I trim it, but it's just. Grow it out, you pansy fucker. Grow it out. Well, if I let it grow all the way out. I'd have I'd have a second. You beard. would have a little magic carpet, wouldn't you? They would connect. They'd become one hair. That's mm. how my body is. All my hairs connect. Just one. <laughs> my long hair goes all the way to my fucking pinky toe. Gross. Did you have hairy feet? Not epic. No, actually, I don't no. have hairy feet. You ever see somebody that just I, has? I got hobbit feet. You ever see somebody that just has hairy yeah. ass feet? I've seen your feet before. Your your feet aren't very hairy. I trim them. Oh. Gross. I, my, if you looked at just my feet, you would think that I was retarded. I, I just feel like I have like retarded Wait. feet. Retarded feet? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you have a toe growing out of the middle of the top of your foot. <laughs> Dude trims his toe hair and not his ball hair. And nobody's seeing his balls. That- yeah, he's getting them toes sucked on the regular. I respect yeah. it. I did like a little Brazilian on my balls. Don't worry. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, that's yeah. a lot. That's like a thousand billion. Liberal. Oh, <laughs> that was me burping and saying liberal at the same time on the Goons podcast. That was brave. You know what? Sponsored by G-Subs. True. Mm-hmm. Code Goons, 10% off. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yep, there we go. We brought it back. We segued. Good job, boys. We totally no, meant to seg- do all we're this. circling back. Circling back. It's a circle of life. It's almost like we didn't rehearse this. Pineapple passion fruit. We rehearse nothing. We don't do anything. Like, there is no prep that goes into the podcast. We literally get in the call... Make fun of each other for like ten minutes, yeah. And then we start talking. It's kind of like telling shit. Helen Keller to make lasagna. That's kind of how we go about doing the podcast. There is a lasagna <laughs> at the end. The quality of it is Helen is Keller. It just depends on your definition of lasagna, right? <laughs> That's true. Always when I was thinking Helen Keller was Anne Frank. <laughs> I always get this too mixed up. <laughs> well, no, Anne Frank's not. Well, she can't make a lasagna because she can't get out of the attic. No, like, no, no. <laughs> Anne Frank's just not that good around ovens, so she couldn't do it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're right about that yeah. one. That is historically accurate. A little phobia about him. It's a whole thing. A phobia, a little time, a little bit of phobia. <laughs> Anyways, how do you feel about people sagging the pants? What? <laughs> Bothers me. They should invest their wealth into a nice leather belt. Gosh. <laughs> I only knew how ridiculous they look. Preposterous. I can see the boxes hanging out. They look preposterous. Don't they realize that that means butt sex available in prison? Ain't nothing better than surprise butt sex. I don't I don't know what we're doing anymore. I don't... I don't what <laughs> Regal men giving commentary on modern society. When I look over at the podcast and I see about five minutes left, I, my mind just checks out. I just don't know what the fuck I talk about anymore. Wait, how much longer do we need to talk? Like five minutes. Oh, shit, dude. Better ingredients than G Fuel slash other brands. <laughs> More healthy than you for G Fuel. Better taste, better pizza, uh, G Subs. <laughs> Sam, pizza into your G Subs beverage and it will not be good. I didn't want to mute that bird. I want to use Shaq's back sweat and mix it with G Subs and drink it. And then I'll probably be a really good NBA player. Wouldn't it just be Shaq sweat? <laughs> <laughs> do you know any? Do you know any people that have like really weird laughs? I mean, Soup's little dog laugh is kind of funny. Yeah, when he knows he hey. said something he shouldn't have, and he whistles. Hey, now you're an all star. Grizzy, I guess. I mean, Grizzy's laugh is the reason he blew up originally. Yeah. Goose laugh. Yeah. 
I wish he still did that. Yeah, you're probably real jealous of that, aren't you? The reason he blew up. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Die. <laughs> really jealous that he met all of before. What me. if I laugh like <laughs> you do sometimes? <laughs> you do. You you do quite often. All right. <laughs> Didn't ask. Plus your white. <laughs> you Plus ask. ratio. Okay. Uh, you asked and you care. <laughs> uh, Plus Obama. You did. Yeah. You're black and you're... you asked and you care. <laughs> <laughs> You asked and you care and you're uh, your Caucasian. Descent. You asked plus you care. <laughs> plus W. Plus black. <laughs> plus W. Plus no ratio. <laughs> like a positive fucking. We should start a trend of positivity with this podcast. I don't know if we could do that. Where we just, we have to like compliment people instead of just tearing. We should do a podcast where we can't shit on each other. <sighs> It'd be like five minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> it, would be, it would be silent for an hour. Soup, your band is cool. We did, didn't we do? Yeah, we did one time where we, we like talked about what we hate about each other and liked each I don't other. Think we ever did Dude, one out of, like, out of all of us, you make the best videos. Oh. Out of all of us, you make the best videos. It's because he has my old editor. <laughs> uh, no, it's just his concepts are all around better and well put in together, and he he's actually skillful yes, at what Mc, he does. Basically, McNasty made me. Is what yeah. McNasty said. I made you what you are, boy. <laughs> actually, you'd probably still be playing on a squire if it wasn't for me. Oh no! You bought the fucking. Oh, uh, I upgraded before. You bought the thing. That's right. Yeah. Oh, dude. Uh, sorry about that. I drink some G subs that uh, it makes everything I said in the past minute a lie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. I wasn't gonna self harm after this podcast, but now I will. Self harm with G subs. Uh, don't can we say that. Say I don't think that. we can say that. Bury yourself <laughs> in it until you die. You realize, that, like, would you would you say this if you got an ad for like? Actually, you probably would. <laughs> I would, dude. Yes, because people people like to laugh. Yeah, they like they, they like to know this this brand is chill. They're cool. They, they're hip with the youth. <laughs> so you're saying they should you should kill yourself with their product? <laughs> <laughs> they're hip. Kill yourself with them. <laughs> Play this mobile app and never eat again. <laughs> <laughs> Live like the Chinese kids that made it. <laughs> Every breath could be your last. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> hey, that's just a good PSA. Live like you're about to die. Yeah. Live like butter dog. That's a Tim McGraw song. <laughs> Live like you were dying. Live like butter dog. <laughs> Live like a Chinese factory worker kid. <laughs> I'm like butter dog. I got butter on my head. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Yeah, like that you should do a full yeah, cover of that. I will. Dude, you should make a you should make a channel where you just do covers. And make no money. Have you thought about doing that? Or dude, you should have a channel where other people upload your covers for you. Without, <laughs> dude, you, should without consent, you should do yeah. it. You should <laughs> do it. I want to. I mean, like full covers of song. I mean just like twenty seconds of Oh, I see. Well then I could get like maybe the cover license and I could make like what maybe like a Chinese sweatshop worker makes for the cover. Yeah, like one African penny. Yes. They make a lot of covers. Cheap fabric, pay them like a penny. <laughs> that was a good yeah. one, boy. All right, the podcast. All right, do the thing where you end it <laughs> in real life. Please, please go to our link in the description. Yep. Uh, and try out some gamer subs to help support us. You will not code regret. goons. Code goons, ten percent off. It actually is really good. Besides all of our memes uh mm -hmm. also check us out on spotify uh be sure to download like subscribe all that bull fucking shit and <laughs> goodbye <Dude>. <laughs> what bye <laughs> bye <laughs>